Well, let's review some basic facts about unsigned integer interpretation of a binary pattern. First of all, when we say the phrase unsigned, that simply means that we can represent numerical values starting with zero and working our way up. We have no concept of negative values here. Let's consider a base 10 example first and consider the year 1976. This is the bicentennial year of the United States. And years would be an example of something where we don't uh, have uh, a need for something like a negative year. Now we know that 1976 can be written as one times a thousand plus nine times 100 plus seven times 10 plus six times one. Now we note that 1000 can also be written as 10 to the three or 10 to the third power. 100 is 10 squared. 10 we can write as 10 to the one. And one we know can be written as 10 raised to the zero exponent. When you write it this way, we observe that now 10 is a common number here, and this is called the base, and another name for base is radix. So here's where we get the idea of uh, our common base 10 numbering system. You'll then note that each one of these uh, powers of 10 indicates uh, a weight, starting with one, then going to 10, then to 100, and so on. So we can think of the integer as being written as a weighted sum. Well, if we turn these ideas to base two, where we only have the two symbols zero and one, and I'll consider a specific binary pattern here to get us started. I have eight bits all together. Using the same idea as base 10, we can say, let's go ahead and interpret this pattern as an unsigned integer. Again, there's, there could be other interpretations for this binary pattern. Uh, we just choose to use unsigned integer right now to keep straight the various bases that you might be working with. It's conventional to write a subscript to indicate the radix. Now our, our base is two, so our first weight would be two raised to the zero power. Our next one is two raised to the one, then two to the two, and so forth. So here we have our increasing weights as we work our way from right to left. And here I'm writing out the actual value of these various weights. And we note that starting with one, the weights simply double from one to the next. Now one would multiply this weight 128. One multiplies 64. Zero multiplying 32 means that we don't uh, need that weight or I can discard it. We need weights four and two, but we don't need weight one. Now, just as we did in the base 10 example, we can simply add together these weights. And if we wanted to then think about that unsigned integer as expressed in base 10, we see that it's the value 198. Little terminology is helpful at this point. Thinking about that same binary pattern again, we note that the exponent was zero for the rightmost bit, and it was seven for the leftmost bit. So it's conventional then to use those exponents as the subscript values. Say we were using the generic value B. Also note that the leftmost weight is 128, and the rightmost weight is only one. So the largest weight appears on the left, 
the smallest weight appears on the right. So we say that this has the least contribution to the overall weighted sum. This is then called the least significant bit, or LSB for short. The largest weight appears on the left side. We can then call this the most significant bit, or MSB. Even if you're not using uh, specifically the integer interpretation, it's common to refer to the LSB and the MSB based simply on the position of those bits at the extremes of the value. Also, it's interesting to note that the smallest value can represent a zero with all zero bits. The largest value would be two raised to the power n subtract and then subtracting one and this is for n equals the number of bits.